Uh, you know, I thought he threw some really good change-ups. Uh, you know, the first inning, uh, he manages to keep that at one run. Could have gotten out of hand fairly quickly, and he made some big pitches. Thought his change-up was good, bottom of the zone. Got a lot of swing-throughs, got a lot of foul balls. Uh, but he, you know, competed for us, uh, considering where he's been this year, what he's coming to. Uh, you know, kept us relatively close in the game. I uh, think he's got, like, room to grow from there. But, uh, you know, for us, uh, I think they're the type of club that against them, you've got to make every single play. And some balls go through the infield that we didn't make. We got one great play from Alan Cordoba at third base. Other than that, we didn't, we didn't get great plays. And uh, with the regularity, they're putting the ball in play against, like, uh, early in the game against Overton, you got to make every play, and we weren't able to do that for him today. Not that there was like a bunch of errors being made all over the field. You just got to make all the plays. The way Hill ma Mitch mixes and matches his uh, curveball and his fastball is that a particularly tough matchup for your young offense? Yeah, I mean it's uh, you analyze our offense, and like one of our biggest struggles, left-handed curveballs. I mean, like it's not a secret if you look at numbers, we struggle against left-handed curveballs. You're talking about probably one of the premier if not the premier left-handed curveball in the game. So right out of the shoot, it's a tough matchup for us. Now, we got to do a better job of competing. Uh, I don't feel like we did that. It's like you got to find a way to put the ball in play. you got to find a way to uh, make him work harder than the three-pitch punch outs he was getting. Like, we, we've got to do better than that. Like, Manny Margot had some really good battle at-bats today. Even Alan Cordoba, like, like, no, not getting hits, but, like, his at-bats when, when he comes in the game, they're, they're battle at-bats. They're like, yeah, you're not going to strike me out. I'm going to fight to the end. Now, he punches out his last at-bat. But I think for the most part, like, he's fighting to put the ball in play, and you can see that and you appreciate that. What explanation did you get on that foul fair call, and uh, how close were you to getting tossed? Uh, I mean, the uh, the call in the end was like, yes, it was a fair ball. Yes, hit the back corner of the back. Uh, felt he threw his hands up and stopped Hedges from running, which is a fact that he wasn't even necessarily disputing. Uh, he said at the end of the day, he got the call right. He didn't throw his hands up high enough, and he corrected himself. Was his response, and you know, my my contention was he stopped the runner. And now at the end of the day. Uh, you know, the play that Justin Turner ended up making, he's going to throw Austin Hedges out anyway. So whether you want to get ejected for that uh, at that point in time, like, didn't want to. At that time, was that a particularly tough call to swallow given everything that happened yesterday and the way the game was going and kind of hinged on maybe reaching base in that inning and getting something going there? Any call that goes against you is, is something that you don't want to have happen. Does it mean like every single time a call goes against you, you go out and get ejected? Like, no, that's not the way it's done. Like, it's not done anywhere in baseball that way. You don't go out and go postal every single time a call goes against you. Uh, there's times when you do and there's times when you don't. Uh, and that's just where the game is. Uh, at any point in time, we weren't doing anything offensively today. That call did not cost us the baseball game. It's an 8 nothing baseball game. I think it, it's not even close to costing us a baseball game. So, no, like, we have to have better competitive at-bats on a more consistent basis. That's the story of the game, not one call that happened uh, in the middle of a ball game. Greg Stamina has been uh, pretty good for you over the last uh, last month, last two months. Uh, what, what did you see from him tonight? I thought for the most part he was good. I mean, he, the ground ball he got towards Chase Darno at second base, a lot of times that's a very routine double play. Uh, ball and he's out of that inning and you don't even think anything about the four spot he gave up. Uh, he made a mistake. Uh, he got hit out of the park. Uh, the down middle fastball to Taylor is not a pitch that you want to make to him. And he made a mistake. Uh, outside of that, like if he gets a double play ball, he doesn't even face Chris Taylor and he fights through that inning and gives you like two and a third scoreless again. Uh, I think he's been really good for us. Uh, I don't think he was far off good today. Is Cordoba at third something we'll see more going forward? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think it was uh, nice to get him a little introduction to there. Uh, he's bounced all over the baseball field, so like having his versatility is a, it's a good thing.